that year was uh, incredible. The way he ended up winning that title was uh, so much uh, effort through the year. And the last race was a thriller, you know. We can win or lose in one race. And when I did it, it was only for half point, the closest uh, championship in life, you know. It was so much emotion, so much nerve. I was so nervous. But finally, when I see the checkered flag, you know, I see that the dream one card was true. And, and that I made also a decision at the same time. It was an emotional race for two reasons. Biaggi will drift home and take the world title. His sixth and second world championship in superbikes. I remember very well the day. The weather condition was really horrible. It was a really difficult race because uh, Max uh, crashed in the first race of the last round and so we have to rebuild the, the bike from the race one to the race two. Max Biaggi, just like the Nürburgring, goes down. That was the, the worst moment of, of the championship because of course when you fall down you lose so many points. I was very furious for, with myself. I make the mistake, I should be more attention. I went back, I remember that someone was knocking on my motorhome. I wasn't not sure to go to open the door because I was, you know, into my world. And then I see Jorge Lorenzo come to see me. So I say, okay, come in, come, come. Suddenly he crashed in the hardest break of the track. So it was like a shock for, for all of us. All the Aprilia guys, the Linea, were shocked and, and deluded. And I remember when the race was finished, he went into his motorhome and I came to visit him. And he was so uh, afraid and worried, I remember sitting in his sofa like this, like very, very worried about the situation. And I remember I told him, come on, Max, you are a champion. Just go there and concentrate on riding and do the best you can. You know, it was very nice, you know. We know each other since 15 years. And by some point, you know, it gave me the right, uh, you know, the right moment. I started watching the races when I was 10 years old and I saw him battling with with Arada, that was one of the best uh, 250 riders, Japanese. And from that moment, I followed him all my childhood. No? For me, Max was my idol. We created a nice relationship through the years uh, that keep going till now. No? And I felt he needed some, some push from a friend. When back on grid, I tried to relax myself. I know I was playing for the big uh, cake. It was the worst situation you can have because we was playing for the, for the World Championship in one race only. And it was incredible because on that race, it was dump track and we were with a slick. So it was so easy to make mistakes. So at the beginning, I was very precious. So by so the other guy just go. And I don't want to lose so much, uh, you know, space. But in the same time, I was worried about the dump track. It was not, it was not, not easy. Max had to recover. In the middle of the season, he catch the, the position that we need to, to win the, the, the championship. And uh, but starting from that, you know, every lap was an, uh, <laughs> difficult. When you have all the fan, all the manufacturers that are on your back, that's what I call uh, pressure, you know. And to ride with pressure is never nice. I was try to breathe normally and recover some points. Finally, I got my rhythm and then I did it. You know, I followed the sign from the lap board. When I was in the safe uh, position, uh, I just slowed down a little bit and that's it, half point. I'm here, happy, you know, I don't want to take out anything from the guy here. They were all fantastic race, you know, Tom also, he deserved like me to be here, but uh, you know, this time is my time, next it will be his time. For me, it's an incredible year. It was a pleasure to be able to compete with Max and Aprilia was uh, already quite an achievement. After he picked up his world championship in Magna Court, he came to me and I whispered, next year's your year. and. Uh, the man was right, so uh, cheers, Max. I have uh, really good memories about that period. It was important for me, it was important for Max, it was important for Aprilia. When I crossed the line, I just breathed normally and I said, yes, we did it again, and it was incredible. But in the meantime, I stopped on the Parc Fermé. I said to my girlfriend, watch me now, because this is the last time you see me like this. And he said, what? He didn't understand, because I didn't explain but I already decided in the moment that was my last race. Things happen for the reason, so 
I said, you know, doesn't work, doesn't matter if uh, I'm now the best. You know, if I want to go this way, I should follow my instincts. That's why I decide it's time to stop, time to quit.